shout it loud, hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet, please. As we close our eyes, raise up our two hands to the Lord, and you pray for yourself in this song, believing that the Lord will touch you mightily here at this hour of power. From Jesus, all I need is a touch. Oh, I need is a touch from the Lord. All I need is a touch. All I need is a touch. Hallelujah. All I need is a touch from the Lord. All I need is a touch. All I need. If you need a touch, sing it loud and clear. All I need is a touch. All I need is a touch from the Lord. All I need is a touch. All I need is a touch. All I need is a touch from the Lord. All I need is a touch. All I need is a touch. All I need is a touch. From all I need is a touch. Oh. Of Jesus. All I need is a touch. From Thou art worthy, thy worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power, and power for Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they have. Worthy, you are worthy, King of kings, Lord of lords, you are worthy, hallelujah, worthy, you are worthy, oh yes, King of kings, Lord of lords, I worship. You are worthy, worthy. You are. Sing it loud and clear, sing it loud and clear. Yes, Lord of Lord, you are worthy. Hallelujah, worthy. You are worthy. King of kings, Lord of Lord. It is not an ordinary name. It is not an ordinary name. It is a name that's full of power. Ah, the name, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, it is not an ordinary name. It is a name full of power. Now, this next song I want you to sing. Make sure that nobody's voice overshadows your heart. You remember, this is the hour of power. And as you continue to sing it, the power of God will begin to fall upon your life. Make sure you clap your hands and you sing with your a loud voice to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, alleluia. You are the mighty God, the great. Yes, alleluia, 
You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, you are the mighty God, 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 God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, you are the mighty God. Yes. Oh, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Oh, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Oh, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Oh, you are the mighty, yes, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Oh, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Send that fire, the Holy Ghost fire. Send that fire again, the Holy Ghost. Oh, send the fire. The Holy Ghost fire, send the fire, send the fire again. The Holy Ghost, oh, send the fire, and the fire. The Holy Ghost fire, send the fire, send the fire again. For the mighty God, the great I am. Alleluia, Alleluia, you are the mighty God, the great Allah. Alleluia, Alleluia, you are the mighty God, the great Allah. Alleluia, Alleluia. Thank you, Jesus. Raise up your right hand to the heavenlies. And declare this loud and clear. Every lion of witchcraft. Assigned to destroy my life. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Deal with the lions. Yes. Center. In Jesus' name we pray. Wonderful God, we thank you for this evening. We we'll give you praise. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Lord, visit us here tonight. In this hour of power, any negative power pursuing anyone, whether internal or external, whether it's within or without, we bury them tonight. We bury them tonight. Let there be creative miracles. Let there be repairing miracles. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Have your seat for a few minutes, beloved. As we open our Bible to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 27. One of the most powerful verses in scripture. The yoke breaking power. The yoke breaking power. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. Isaiah 10 27. And it shall come to pass in that day. That his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder. And his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed. Because of what? Because of something called. The anointing. Have you opened that scripture? Can we read it together loud and clear? And it shall come to pass in that day that his body shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Is that yoke breaking power? We just want to look at a small aspect of it. One of the best definitions for the anointing you can find it in that verse. So you can conveniently define the anointing as the yoke breaking and the, the burden removing and the yoke breaking power of God. The 
burden removing, the yoke destroying power of God. Can you say that? Let me hear you. The burden removing and the yoke breaking power of God. Can you say that loud and clear? That's one of the best definitions for the anointing that you can find. We want to look at a little aspect of that before we start praying now. In this hour of power. Now, in the book of Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 3. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. The Spirit of God, the anointing can move upon the face of water. Just like as it's going to happen on the water you brought just now. He said the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Now turn your Bible straight away to the book of John. The Gospel according to St. John chapter 5. Gospel according to St. John chapter 5. I begin to read from verse 1. Gospel according to St. John chapter 5 verse 1. I know there are people here tonight that as a result of their coming here, their life will no longer remain the same. If you are that person, shout it loud, hallelujah. John chapter 5. Of, let's speak it from verse 2. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool which in the Hebrew tongue is called Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered. What were they waiting for? They were waiting for the moving of the water. Verse 3 again. In this lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. Verse 4. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. What does it mean to trouble the water? It means by the presence of that angel, the anointing of God is released upon that water. And when the angel steers the water, whether with the leg or with the hand or with whatever, the power of God flows into that water immediately. Just as the same angel will trouble the water you brought here just now. <laughs> Whosoever then first after the troubling of the waters stepped in was made hold of whatever, whatever, whatever disease. That anointing had no respect for any disease. It has no respect. Whether you call it cancer, you call it failure, kidney failure, this failure, hypertension, blind limb. It, no respect for any of them. As far as you got in first. All this before Jesus died. And before he shed his blood. And before he said unto us, greater works than this shall you do. And before he said, I've given unto you power. Now, we don't have to wait for a physical angel to come back and stand you until you see the troubling with your physical eye. No. Turn to the book of Acts chapter 5 because of our time. Acts chapter 5. Look at this, what it says in verse 15. In so much that they brought forth the sick into the streets and laid them on bears and coaches that at the least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. So the anointing too can be inside a shadow and by passing the shadow can heal. Look again, look again at Acts of, Acts of Apostles chapter 19. Verse 12. Acts 19, 12. From verse 11, sorry. And God wrought special miracles by the hands of Paul. So that from his body were brought unto the sick handkerchiefs or aprons. And the diseases departed from them. And the evil spirits went out of them. I mean that the clothes you are wearing on your body. Your headgear. Scarf. Cap. Can carry the anointing. An handkerchief can carry the anointing. Please understand this very well. Now in James chapter 5, James chapter 5, verse 14, James 5, 14 says, 
Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. Let them pray over him. Anointing him with oil. In the name of the Lord. So that anointing oil that we normally pray on to can carry the power of God. Nobody can limit God to what he should do and what he should not do. Jesus now capped it all completely in the book of John chapter 9. John chapter 9 verse 6. Now if somebody was to do this today, a lot of preachers would tear you down. A lot of people would tell you, this is unscriptural. But look at Jesus in John chapter 9 verse 6. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground. He spat on the ground. Saliva, saliva. And made clay of the spittle. And he then anointed the eyes of the man with saliva and clay. And he said, go wash in the pool of Siloam. And he went his way therefore and washed and came back seeing the saliva can carry the anointing. So what are we saying there today? Anointing can be transferred. Anointing can move from place to place. Here we are standing on this pulpit now. Anointing can move from this pulpit down there. Down to 1,000 miles away. Anointing can reside in inanimate materials. Just like the children of the devil use their charms, their rings, and it carries satanic power. The same way, it was something they copied from heaven. The same way materials can carry the power of God. God is a spirit. He is the only one of Israel. He is the one we call the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is the God who in the days of Noah covered the whole of the earth with water. The same person who covered the whole of the earth with water in those days to kill so many people was the same person that spoke to the waters of the Red Sea to divide. He is the same God who from heaven sent rain, fire, wild wind, bread. He is the same God who from rock brought out water. He is the same God who made snakes, snakes from wood. They threw down their snakes, their sticks, and it became snakes. He is the same God from darkness, he made light. And from this dust that we are stepping upon, he made man. It was the same God that buried Korah, Dathan, and Abiram alive. It was the one who poured fire on the altar of Elijah. Jeroboam the king was the one that withered his hand. He was the one that turned Nebuchadnezzar to a lunatic. It was the same God who sat down and made a baby in the womb of a 90 year old woman called Sarah. The same God turned the Nile River to blood. And he sank the Jericho wall. It was the same God that provide a special, provided a special airline to fly Elijah out by chariot of fire airways. Our uh, God was the person who took three men in a walk around the fiery furnace. They threw them there. He was busy playing around with them. He was the one who adjusted the legs of crippled men and they began to walk. That is the God who is here tonight. And if you will believe him and you pray in faith, you'll be amazed at what will happen in your life before you leave this place. Therefore, when we begin to pray now, the power of God, when I want it's time to bring out the water, the power of God begins to fall on that water. Once you drink that water, if there's any stubborn infirmity in your body, it will be passed out. If there's any evil eating stranger in your body, it will be dead. Or you have some evil marks on your body, it will, it will be withered away by the blood of Jesus. Or you'll be going about with this mark of hatred and evil mark and bad luck. As you drink this water, it will be erased. Maybe the doctors have told you that certain things are not possible for you again. And through looking at their result, what they are saying is true. But as you drink this water, there will be a complete reverse. If the Lord needs to bring down your age to bring it to pass, it shall be so. Because the Bible says, and on that day, his body shall be removed from your shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck because of the anointing. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet now. All eyes closed. All eyes closed. Listen to me very, very carefully. Because the power of God is all over this place now. We are going to start some prayers now. There are people who are in this meeting today who are completely half dead. That's why they came. All of a sudden, 
something will jump out of you and life will return to your body. There are people here tonight. The enemy has pumped and pumped several organs in the body and is blowing up like balloon. All of a sudden you will hear the snap of something like a puncture. And then that evil swelling will disappear. There are people here today that have very little strength in one of their legs. And you feel as if one side of you is going away. As if one side is getting paralyzed. All of a sudden those things will vanish immediately. There are people here who have come from the hospital. And they say they should come back for a treatment or for whatever. But as this, as the power of God is moving now, those things that brought them there shall be cancelled completely. The cloudiness around the eyes shall be melted away. Then this thing that the enemy has planted in you, that you are ashamed to tell anybody, as the anointing begins to move now, those things will be melted away completely. The first prayer I want you to pray is a prayer of a cry to the heavenlies. Shout this louder than anyone around you. Anointing that breaks the yoke. Your voice is not loud enough tonight, beloved. Break my yoke tonight. In the name of Jesus. Yes. The anointing that breaks the yoke. Break my yoke tonight. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. Masika ya bo shente ra bo kora ba. Aha, 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 aha. Mara bo sponde ke ya bo shente ya ba. Mapola kara bo sponde ke ya bo shente ya ba. Masika ya bo shente ya ba. Pia, pia bo satiaka. Let the yokes be broken. Let it 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 be broken. In the name of Jesus. Aha! 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 Something is happening already. I tell you, Spirit of the Living God, move, 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 move. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Silence. Silence. Things are happening. That's the power of God. That's the power of God. The Bible says, with man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Silence, beloved. Check your body now. If you know you brought a situation here and it has now disappeared, just quietly find a way to this altar. Don't allow the enemy to bring the problem back. You brought a problem here. It has just vanished. Just find your way here now. Check your body very well because the power of God is still moving. If you have not seen a physical manifestation here, don't come out. Just stay where you are for now. Power of God will still touch you. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Please don't joke with this prayer. Every bitter water. Flowing into my life. Die! In the name of Jesus. That's right. Yes. Matora kaya bo shente rabo kolaba. There's the bitter water dry up. Spirit of the living God. Move. 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 Move, move. Aha, 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 aha. Tonight is tonight. Let the bitter water die. Masopoko ya bo shente ra bo koraba. Something is happening over there. Something is happening over there. Something is happening over there. Aha, 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 aha. Yes. Yes, 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 yes.
Nasekato Bikaribo Santa Biketerabo Sopoyabo Santa Yaba Aha Aha In Jesus name we pray There is a bone rearrangement taking place at the back there That's right you have broken this part of your body before And it used to give you pain But either the power of God is coming upon you and that yoke is broken forever. Someone is over there. One leg is shorter than the other. It's been stretched out. Stretched out. By the power of God, it's been stretched out. That's right. Use stubborn growth in the body that has been cut off and cut off and cut off times without number. But you keep going back, you keep going back. I cast you to dry up. Wither. Wither. Wither, 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 in the name of Jesus. Aha. Check, check your body now. Check your body now. You find that that evil growth has gone. Find a way to this place. And you, that person over there, and the enemy is bringing out an evil milk from your breast. Go and check now. That evil milk has dried up. Yes, that's the power of God falling upon you. That's the power of God coming upon you. That's right. That's right. Yes, once the healing power of God has touched you, don't allow the enemy to put this problem back. Quietly find a way to the frontier so you can put a seal on it. Everybody will shout this again loud and clear. Oh God Allah! With your power! Of Possibility. Can you shout this loud and clear? Make it louder than that, beloved. Visit me by fire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. There is a sister over there. The enemy planted something in your body to disgrace you. But right now you are having serious pain in your tummy. And that thing is coming out. It is in form of a small ball. So if you are that person, go and check at the ladies and come back here now very quickly. Come back here and come to and see them at the front very quickly. Yes, it's coming out. You are falling out into labor like a woman about to deliver. Yes, yes, it's coming out. It's a plantation of darkness. That has been in your body for years. Yes. Look at what has happened over there. Someone is here. It's as if they are boiling your body on a pot of fire. Look at the rain of the anointing falling upon you. And coolness is coming to your body. Coolness is coming to your body. Somebody is here who has been urinating blood. The power of God is falling upon you now. And go and check your urine and come right straight to the altar. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Declare this loud and clear. Every Goliath posting against my progress catch fire in the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. In Jesus name we pray. Someone here, something has been moving about just in your head region. You've been moving and moving about in the head. Very soon, you will notice something on that head. 
grip it and just find a way to, to this place. Because that thing, that whatever the enemy has planted there will be made to manifest and to jump out. If you are vigilant, catch it. Aha. Yes, that's, that's the power of God. That's the power of God. Now, there are people in this meeting tonight that something is happening to them that the enemy believes that they have finished the agenda. What the enemy has done has been overruled. It's been overruled. Aha. Say this loud and clear. I fire back. The arrows of evil Lord. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray. Lord, I decree that all afflictions that have gone tonight shall never rise again. I cover all the miracles here with the blood of Jesus. Now listen carefully, beloved. Very soon, we're going to pray on the waters. Very soon. When it's time to pray on the waters, I will tell you so. Let me caution that some would drink that water. It would be as if they were drunk because the power of God would be challenging what the enemy has planted into their bodies. Bring out your water now. We are going to pray a double anointing prayer on that water. Amen. So it's the first one I'm praying now. Close your eyes. Father, in the name of Jesus. We lift up this water unto you. Let your power, your fire, your glory, your anointing, your strength, your healing power, your healing virtue, your creative virtue, flow into this water in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The spirit of the living God that moved upon the waters in those days. Let him move upon this water in the name of Jesus. Oh God of Elijah, let every particle of this water become the fire of God. Let it destroy every citadel of darkness. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I congratulate you if you got the first portion of prayer. This is the second one now. You are going to hold that bottle of water and you pray these prayers with fire and with power. Believe in the Lord for a powerful touch upon your life today. Strangers of darkness, your time is up. In the name of Jesus, destroy the strangers of darkness. In the name of Jesus, Marabosoponta. In Jesus' name we pray. In the presence of those asking for my God. Oh God, Allah, and manifest your power in the name of Jesus. You must arise and manifest his power. Masekaya Boshen Terabokontenderaba. 
Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Anointing of favor. Come upon my life. In the name of Jesus. Masikaya Bushin Teraba. Come upon my life in the name of Jesus. Aha, aha. Masikatoya Bushin Teraba Santa. In Jesus' name we pray. Every native doctor searching for my face catch fire in the name of Jesus Asikatea Boshenta open your mouth and pray this place in the name of Jesus yes Jesus name we pray. Only that's fire. Alive. Kill every darkness in my life. In the name of Jesus. Command the darkness to be killed. In the name of Jesus. Manakaribo saponde kayabo shentayaba. In Jesus name we pray. Every satanic animal programmed against me. In the name of Jesus deal with the satanic animals. In the name of Jesus aha 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 Bakota Rabo Samponde Kayabo Shenta Berika Sentenda Kayabo Shenta Rabo Kopolaba Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes In Jesus name we pray Now it's time for your amen to be super dynamic As I pray a second touch prayer on that water When the sick drinks this water. The sickness shall pass out of the body. Anything the doctors have said about your life, your body, your womb, a reproductive organ, your legs, your back, your eyes. Immediately you get into contact with this water. Those infirmities shall be buried completely. Now, Amen. Now anything called bad luck, mark of hatred, as you drink this water, it shall be scattered. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Listen. Some people as they drink this water, you may notice a riot starting inside you. It's because there are certain things there that the anointing of us enter into the water will confront and push them out. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. By the Spirit of the living God. That move upon the waters in the beginning. Move upon these waters now. In the name of Jesus. By the power that was in your saliva. That you made the clay with. And did a creative miracle. Let the creative power of God. Enter into this water in the name of Jesus. 
Masika tenda ya Bushenta. Ribapia ni katenda. In the name of Jesus. Father. We take this water from the pharmacy of the Holy Ghost. Let it become Holy Ghost antibiotics. Holy Ghost vitamins. Holy Ghost tonic. In the name of Jesus. The same angel that troubled the waters of Bethesda. Let the angel trouble all these waters now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be silence now. Listen attentively. You open this water. Drink from it. Then close it. Then you can take it home. If you like, keep putting in more and more and more and more. And remember, you are not drinking ordinary water again. It is water that has been incubated by the power of God. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be silence. No, I told you, the manifestation has already started. It is confronting serpents, confronting internal animals, confronting cancer, confronting plantation of darkness. Yes. Confronting evil worms. Present in the body, pulling them away from the walls of the intestine and pushing them out, confronting evil plantations, pulling them out of their stronghold. That's right, the serpent is coming out from the anus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Popola, Rosalind Popola. For about eight years now, I had an operation, a stretch in our nose. I can, it affected my right leg. I cannot walk properly. To, due to that, I was unable to wear high shoes. As I further in the Lord mentioned my case this evening, I just had a crack on my right leg and by the time I say Jesus all the pain has left praise the Lord shout hallelujah my name is Florence when the prayer was going on I noticed that um, um, pains for 80 years disappear in my life praise the name of the Lord praise the Lord my name is Toyosi when I'm still in secondary school Many years ago, 1993, no, I, I fell down from the cashew tree. Since then, my right leg is not balanced anymore. But tonight, when our Father in the Lord, when our Father in the Lord is preaching that some leg that is not balanced, tonight they are recovered it back. Tonight, immediately, I recover my. Can you please walk and let us see you and confirm that your leg are balanced? Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Grace. When the man of God was talking about the woman that the tummy was turning, turning, I was the one. And when he was talking about the person that the one leg is shorter, I was the one. I received two miracles. Praise the Lord. How long? How did it happen now? For four years. The four years I had an accident. Mm -hmm. And the one one leg is shorter than the other one. So after the operation, Mm -hmm. for this evening... I noticed that the, the pain on my waist have relieved me, have gone, vanished. And the legs are okay. And the legs are okay. Can you please walk and confirm it? Praise the name of the Lord. My name is Oluwa Sheyi Isaac. About two months ago, the boss I was working before slapped me on this my right ear. And the hair was bringing out pus and blood. Since then, I have not been able to hear with this ear very well. But tonight, as we are praying, praying the pus, everything just dried up and... Um, Healed. Both the pulse and the blood. Both the pulse and the blood. Everything is okay. And you can hear now. And I can hear very well from this. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Elizabeth Epony. 
five years ago, I lost my, my mother. So we went for her burial service. So I find out that when I came back, my right leg starts swelling and paining me. So I found out there's a growth under the leg. So I went to Jolat. They now say they are going to operate it. They went for the operation. But after that time, after the operation, the, the growth still, this growth is still coming out again. So I, I, after that, I, tonight, the, the GO, after that, the word of knowledge comes from the GO that there's somebody here that you have a growth, you've been operating it, and it's still coming back. Immediately, I felt a, a hot sensation in my leg, and I, immediately I got my healings. The disappeared. disappeared forever. Praise the name of the Lord. And I share the grace in fellowship.